Hi everybody! In this tutorial I want to show you the basics of Logic's plugin sampler the EXS24 MK2. Open an empty project, create a software instrument track and load the EXS24. Open the media library tab. The media library displays all EXS instruments that are placed in the following three directories. In the users library application support Logic sampler instruments you will find the ones you created. In the System Library application support Logic Sampler Instruments, you will find the EXS instruments that come with Logic. And in the System Library application support GarageBand Instrument Library Sampler, Sampler Instruments directory, you will find the EXS instruments that come with GarageBand. Let's go to the Logic Factory drum kit. Just click on an EXS instrument and Logic loads it immediately to the EXS24. And if you trigger the MIDI note, you can hear it. So, what happens exactly when Logic loads an EXS instrument in the EXS24 sampler? Click on the Edit button to see what's inside the EXS instrument. The Instrument Editor window opens. At the bottom you see the keyboard and above the zone area. By clicking on the keys you hear only sound from the keys that have a zones assignment. If you select the zone in the zone area you see that in the perimeter area the same zone is selected too. So what's a zone? A zone is a location into which a single audio sample can be loaded. In the parameter area you see the name of the zone and the name of the audio sample that is loaded to it. Click on the triangle and select Load Audio File. Now you can load another audio sample to this zone. If you enable Hide Used Audio Files, Logic dims all samples that are already used in other zones of this instrument. If Preview Audio File in EXS instrument is enabled, Logic temporarily replaces the sample files in the currently selected zone and it can be triggered by playing MIDI notes while the file selector is open. Let's see how this works. Click Cancel and click on Show Velocities. The velocity area opens and you see the velocity range of the selected zone. If you choose Zone Velocity Range from the View menu, you can see the same values in the parameter area. So the velocity range of the selected zone is 116 to 121. Let's make some changes. Move the zone to a different key. Move the mouse to the edge of the zone. And adjust the key range. Or do it in the parameter area. Adjust the velocity range. Move the window away and create a MIDI region with MIDI data that trigger the node A sharp 0. Bring the window back. Go to the selected zone. Click on the triangle and choose Load Audio File again. Select a different audio file and you hear that the MIDI notes trigger the new sample. Because Preview Audio File in EXS instrument is enabled. You can step through your samples with the arrow keys of your computer keyboard. This is very comfortable when you search drum sounds on your hard disk. If I press Cancel instead of Open, you hear the old sample because the changes were temporarily. Let's open a new sample. In the parameter area we can set the pitch. Note that the key adjustments only respond when pitch is enabled. In the mix section you can adjust volume, pan and the output of the sound. If you click on the triangle again and choose open in sample editor, you see how the sample is displayed in the sample editor.
Here you can adjust the start and end point of the sample. If you choose Zone Sample from the View menu, the values are also displayed in the parameter area. When you close the EXS Instrument Editor, you will be asked if you want to save the changes. Now you have to take care that you don't override the original instrument. Click Cancel and select Save As from the Instrument menu. Name and save the instrument. Now you see in the Media Library tab your new created instrument. And if we take a look at the directories, we see that the instrument is saved in the Users Library. Click in the Sampler Instruments field and choose No Instrument. Click on Edit. Logic created now a temporary EXS instrument that is empty. Browse your hard disk with the finder for samples. I'm gonna drag and drop a clap sound. Logic creates automatically a zone with the biggest key and velocity range. In the parameter area we see that the root key is at C3 and that the pitch is enabled. The original pitch of the sample is on the root key. Let's change the root key by following the general MIDI drum map. Hand claps should be at D-sharp 1. Double click on root key and type in D-sharp 1. Let's save the instrument now. Select and duplicate the zone with copy and paste. Click on reverse and set the velocity range from 127 to 127. Set the velocity range for the original zone from 0 to 126. Close the software instrument editor and save the changes. Create a MIDI region and an event for D sharp 1. Now you can adjust the velocity for this MIDI event. As long as we stay between 0 and 126, logic triggers the original zone. If we set the velocity to 127, logic will trigger the reverse copy. So this was part 1 of the EXS basics with the focus on the instrument editor. Get in touch with it and watch part 2.